Chapter 8 Historical Research Nature and value of historical research The basic purposes of historical research are to provide a clear perspective of the present and to facilitate planning for the future by identifying general principles applicable to recurring situations. Chronology Chronology can be defined as simply the describing of events in the order of their occurrence, a process similar to the older concept of historical research. Chronology is important, however, as it represents the first step in the process of historical research and provides material or data for the steps to follow. Importance of historical research to librarianship. As Busha and Harder indicate, historical research can contribute to the body of knowledge about librarianship. It can increase our understanding of how, when, and why past events occurred, and it can expand our appreciation of the significance of these events. Gorman and Clayton note, historical research can help to gain historical understanding of the long-term development of library collections, inform budgetary decision-making, provide a basis for decisions concerning services, and inform an investigation of changing information culture. Types of historical research. Six different types of historical research or documentary study. Biographical research, histories of institutions and organizations, the investigation of sources and influences, editing and translating historical documents, studying the history ideas, and compiling. Official records, such as laws, deeds, annual reports of organizations, charters, and so on. 2. Newspapers and other periodicals. 3. Eyewitness accounts of events. 4. Archives. 5. Manuscripts. 6. Letters and personal diaries. 7. Biographies, autobiographies, and memoirs. 8. Historical studies. 9. Literary writings. 10. Oral evidence. 11. Memorials. 12. Catalogues. 13 schedules, agendas, and so on. 14. Archaeological and geological remains. Evaluation of historical sources. Involve two basic processes. External criticism and internal criticism. External criticism. External criticism, or the gathering of external evidence, is done to determine if a source in fact provides authentic, primary data. Internal criticism Schaefer recommends asking the following questions, among others when evaluating the internal evidence of a document. 1. Do the real meanings of words differ from their literal meanings? 2. How well could the author have observed the things he or she is reporting? 3. Are there internal contradictions? 4. Are any statements inherently improbable? 5. Are factual data in agreement with standard reference works? 6. Does the document seem to call for further corroboration? Basic Steps of Historical Research Historical research tends to involve the following steps. 1. Identification of a problem of historical significance. 2. Collection of background information, i.e., literature review of the secondary sources. 3. Formulation of a hypothesis when possible. 4. Gathering of evidence or data, including verification of the authenticity of the primary sources and the validity and reliability of their contents. 5. Organization and analysis of the pertinent data. 6. Interpretation of the findings or the drawing of conclusions. The hypothesis in historical research. A hypothesis in historical research helps to increase the objectivity of the study and minimize researcher bias. It also guides the researcher in the collection, analysis, and interpretation of data by indicating what is relevant to the study. Collecting the data historical approach is more exhaustive seeking out information from a larger array of sources. The data collection technique for historical research, or at least for documentary research, basically involves putting together in a logical fashion the evidence derived from documents or records. This process also often involves the comparing and reconciling of information gathered from two or more sources. The presentation of findings. The data should be related to the purpose of the study, and that clear and unambiguous expression is important. The dual aspect of the historical enterprise, the effort to establish what happened and the attempt to explain why things happened in the way they did, explains the twofold task in historical writing. 1. To convey a sense of time or to show chronological development. 2. To analyze and explain the interrelationships of the events studied, to detect underlying patterns, to unify the various elements in a satisfactory whole, which provides a response to the initial research problem using an analytical style or an approach by topic. 
Library history. Historical research conducted in library and information science has often been referred to as library history. Its major form consists of the traditional library, but it also includes the history of any activity or event that might be part of the domain of library and information science. Systematic bibliography Persons involved in the compilation of systematic or enumerative bibliographies are concerned with the book, and other materials, as an intellectual entity. 1. Universal bibliography. A bibliography that includes everything published or issued in a subject field regardless of date of publication. 2. National bibliography. A bibliography that lists everything published, and possibly distributed, in a given country. 3. Trade bibliography. A bibliography compiled primarily to aid the book trade by supplying information as to what books are in print or for sale, when, where, and by whom they were published, and their price. 4. Subject bibliography. A bibliography that lists materials relating to a specific topic. Concerned with the book as a physical entity or material object. Important function of descriptive bibliography is describe the ideal copy or primary document and its variants. This process can be broken down into more specific bibliographical research, including the following. 1. Analytical bibliography, which is concerned with the physical description of the book in order to determine the details of the physical process of its manufacturing. 2. Textual bibliography, which focuses on certain textual variations between a manuscript and the printed book or among various editions. It is more concerned with the author's words than with the physical aspects of the book. 3. Historical bibliography, which deals with the identification of original editions and the placing and dating of individual books. Problems in historical research A variety of problems are common to most types of research but tend to be particularly important in historical research, including the following. 1. Deciding how much data are enough. 2. Improperly selecting data. 3. Relying too heavily on secondary sources of information. 4. Investigating an overly broad problem. 5. Failing to evaluate adequately the historical data and their sources. 6. Failing to interpret the data. 7. Reading the present into the past even though the historical data may not support such an interpretation. Thank you.